We we'll have to bring you the news. In our first story, the government of Ghana has announced the signing of its first ever green loan to the value of some 35 million euros to help deliver water projects to rural and peri-urban communities across Ghana. Use improving UK design technology and systems. The project, which is to be delivered by UK-based Aqua Africa Limited, will deliver clean drinking water to about some 225,000 people by the end of 2021. There's more in this report. Access to drinking water continues to remain a daily struggle for rural communities in Ghana. Many residents are compelled to drink from untreated and unsafe water sources. Sanitation and Water Resources Minister Cecilia Dapa says the government of Ghana is poised to provide water for all and that Ghana's green agenda in the context of the Sustainable Development Goals is on course with the Aqua Africa Water Project. She says increasing water coverage requires a consistent investment on a year-to-year basis since population growth and demand for water keeps increasing, a reason the ministry wholeheartedly received the investment in the Aqua Africa project. Operations manager of Aqua Africa, Leonora Dowley, says presently the Community Water and Sanitation Agency has a list of 1,500 communities in need of support. Aqua Africa will be working closely with the Community Water and Sanitation Agency under the guidance of the Ministry of Sanitation and Water Resources to identify through the district assemblies a priority listing for the communities that will best optimise the criteria set for suitability for a sustainable, managed and long-term solution. At the moment, the Community Water and Sanitation Agency have a list of 1,500 communities in need of support and the Aqua Africa project will cover 450 locations and alleviate 225,000 Ghanaians from daily water poverty. The project will start at the mobilisation stage at the end of September, where we will finalise the location of each site. This will be completed before December, and from then we will schedule the logistics and distribution for installation starting from mid-January. That will be the formal commencement date of the project, and we expect the project to be fully completed within 18 months. We think that what is required are long-term sustainable solutions for clean water distribution. We think the community engagement is critical to both the installation of the project and for the longer-term operations and maintenance of the infrastructure. So to do that, projects must create revenue to ensure funds are available to continue operations and maintenance. With that in mind, the structure of the project has a solar power water distribution system that has a cashless revenue solution that allows people to draw water for less than half a peso per litre. Aqua Africa's managing director, Philip Foster, commended the tri-partnership approach between the government of Ghana, the UK export finance and the private sector in securing the agreement that will provide access to clean water to over 225,000 Ghanaians. Now, residents of the regional town in the western region of Olobun Shada uh, say their residents or their lives on the line as waste from illegal mining activities and a rubber processing plant has poisoned the only river they drink from as part of joining new safe water project just as bay the rest of the community. Here is his report. These are everyday scenes in Olobongada a small village in the western region. Getting water to drink is a daily battle. This is all we drink, and now it is getting bad. Illegal miners wash their waste into it. People defecate around it. When we drink, all we do is to go to the hospital because we are always defecating and having many waterborne diseases. All their problems aside, they have to deal with the waste that rising activities of Galamse workers leave behind. Natural 
chede e nim na de kan na no no mpo ni chede o ya ade a e de yaruba na nsunsu as born bi na da ma woni pedua people in olubongada are in dire streets sitting on a time bomb of water poverty where they are exposed to many waterborne ailments the villagers here face another challenge waste materials from activities that come from the rubber plantations nearby are washed directly into this river all this is in beer from october the rock on grateful we were down be one factory hall but say what's worry what who who man will be down now in sufi waste not chemicals now what they are a jumah or damn factory one you know we will get in sumo oh we ain't sumo and then soon in another color I done a green. My command from going to one so soon. One num. A dissing Yama cried over while they are on ye. A nebby monson a Nama owns no more or concunina. Nam ponin soon and Cassano so cry, baby, or why? Nipper one nan to walk or Cassano so. No so so quanoa. The residents here are hoping their story will change soon. Justice Pedu, join news. All about Ngada.